Hello and welcome to a special Easter Day service prepared for you by your spiritual care team. We're glad to be able to share this with you and hope that it brings you joy and encouragement. A special thanks to Catherine and the rest of the REC team for their efforts at making this possible. Uh, my name is Aaron Hansen. I'm a pastor at First Baptist Church uh, just down the street from the Green Home in Cranbrook. I'm not a regular part of the spiritual care team, though. Uh, Wendy Clibbett, Pat Brown, and Laird Siemens are our more regular connection uh, to you who call the FW Green Home home. Wendy, who prepares the weekly devotionals, has joined me today for this service, so you'll have a chance to see and hear from her as well. Let's move into our service. On Easter, it is tradition to greet our fellow Christ followers with a call and response. And it goes like this. I say, Christ is risen. And then you say, he is risen indeed. So let's give that a shot. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Thanks, Wendy. <laughs> let's begin our service today with a prayer of adoration. Living God, we worship you today with joy in our hearts and thanksgiving on our lips. When the powers of evil had done their worst, crucifying your son and burying him in death, you raised him to life again, an act of power, giving hope to the world. Lord Jesus, we rejoice that death could not keep you in its grip, that you were raised to life, alive forevermore, you greeted your friends, and now you stand amongst us in your risen power. And Spirit of God, you are always giving life to the people of God. Remodel us in the image of Jesus. Fill us with his love and enable us with his risen power that we might be faithful to his way, used by you in the redeeming of your world. Amen. We have a few songs that we will uh, play for you today. The words will be on your screen. Um, if Brad is there, I'm sure he will gladly sing them out for you in his angelic tenor way. Or maybe not, I don't know. Uh, feel free to simply enjoy the music or sing along. Uh, the choice is yours. I want to thank my friend Catherine Nimmert for being here to play this music for us today. Our first song was one regularly requested back when we had our Tuesday morning services. The song is The Old Rugged Cross.
Hello everyone, it's great to be here today. My name is Wendy Clivett. I miss being with you and hope that we can join together soon. Let's read from the Word of God. Matthew 28, 1-10 After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning. His clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The word of the Lord. Our next reading comes from the Gospel of Luke. Two followers of Jesus have just realized that the risen Jesus ha had been walking with them on their journey to Emmaus. Luke 24, 30-40 reads this way. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven, and those with them assembled together, thirty-four, and saying, It is true, the Lord has risen, and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what, the, what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled? Why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see, 
A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his feet and hands. The word of the Lord. Christ is risen. Easter is a day of celebration. It is the day we declare that Jesus of Nazareth, who was put to death even though he was innocent, came back from the grave. Death could not hold on to him because he is greater than death. His resurrection was a shock to everyone except him. He knew it was going to happen. He even told his followers about it. But they were still shocked. And ever since that time, people have been recalling and remembering and celebrating this day. We have called what happened on Easter the good news or the gospel. And why? Because it means something very special for all of us. Jesus' resurrection was miraculous. But Jesus wasn't performing a magic trick, like, say, Mr. Houdini, to make people buzz with wonder, though I'm sure they did. He wasn't doing it to get people to follow him and buy his special brand of religion, though people did follow him. He wasn't even doing it to prove how powerful of a leader he was and is. He was doing it because he loves us. He loves people. He loves you and me. We had been separated from him, unable to recognize the right path, maybe more accurately, unwilling to walk in the right direction. As the Apostle Paul wrote to the Roman church, we've all sinned. 
We've all walked our own directions, rejecting God's great love. The resurrection of Jesus is a gift to you and I because it has demonstrated how far God will go to make his love available to us. One of Jesus' sayings in the Gospel of John is, Greater love has no one than this, that they lay down their life for the sake of another. Jesus laid his life, laid down his life to death and offers the world the path of life. I want to read to you a, a short excerpt of scripture from the prophet Isaiah, spoken many years before Jesus uh, walked the earth. It comes to us from Isaiah chapter 53. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases. Yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb that was led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. Out of his anguish he shall see light. He shall find satisfaction through his knowledge. The righteous one. My servant, says the Lord, shall make many righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. That is the good news for us. That God in his great love came and bore away all of our iniquities, that we might be with him. May the good news of that encourage you and bring you hope this very day. We're going to have one more song, and then we're going to close by saying the Lord's Prayer together.
We're going to close with the Lord's Prayer. I invite you, if you are able, to place your hand on your heart and say it with me if you know the words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Have a wonderful, wonderful Easter, and may God bless you.